Hello everybody, Daz is here. As I promised you last week, I looked into different configuration for fan placement on radiators so we can check if it make any difference and which configuration work better than other. So we're talking about push when fan pushing air through radiator or pull when radiator uh, fan on top of radiator it pulling air through it or push pull when we have two radiators working together and pushing air from uh, both sides of rod. Uh, this was tested before, so it's not something that I do very first time um, ever. And the previous report clearly indicates that push-pull configuration give you additional advantage. But I decided to double check because a lot of tests in the past uh, took place maybe like five years ago or three years ago, something like this. And uh, there's changes in water cooling equipment, everything goes for high flow, less restrictive loops. Um, so we don't talk about restriction anymore too much because pumps is excellent and blocks is optimized. So it was worthwhile to check what's happening with the actual current crop of water cooling equipment and see if it's make any difference or we just confirm previous results. So first test I did was uh, maximum speeds, 2000 RPM and uh, between three positions of fans push pull or push pull I got absolutely identical numbers and it um, was absolutely makes no difference whatsoever what you do so adding additional layer of the fan didn't really bring me any additional benefit um, said okay maybe my system a little bit overkill for single CPU heat infusion so I cranked my GPU as well and I got pretty much the same result, which bring me to conclusion that efficiency of current system pretty good. And most of us, even with a relatively standard parts, pretty much running overkill setup. And if you have overkill setup, whatever you do with your fans make absolutely no difference. So buying extra layer of fans for looks is fine. If you expect to get something out of it, if you have total radage up overkill, you're just wasting your money. So you basically need only one layer of fans. You can put them whatever side you want and you get exactly the same result. The second part of my tryout was slow down my fans on 1100 RPM and then i start testing it again and i uh, was really curious if it will situation will continue like this or i will get some some benefit over it so when i slow down to 1100 for the cpu only i finally got some difference with push pull configuration push or pull was very much similar um, I have a little bit lower temperatures in pool, but again, because of I'm not a lot of environment, quarter degree is meaningless, so it doesn't matter. So we can see that it's exactly the same, but for the push-pull configuration, I clearly got two degree difference and it's, I consider it's uh, convincing enough to tell us that yes, push-pull makes it better if you're pushing your system to the limit or you're running your system at very slow speed fans, so you um, heat the satipation really, really weak because of the slow amount of air going through radiator. And finally, I was really anxious to put my GPUs in full force and see what's going on with the situation when I have both CPU and GPU uh, running full speed. Well, that was even more pleasing. I get again a noticeable difference and we can see that we run down oh whoa almost like three degrees if I'm looking in my numbers correctly so 42 and we get 13 almost 39 so yeah 2 in 75 that what you get so um, proportion kind of was similar I hope it will be a little bit more because I thought okay like CPU is not much stuff going on and but with two gpus cranking heat in i expect maybe five degrees but i didn't get it but nevertheless it's definitely still the case that uh, push pull configuration will give you benefit if your system running 
at minimum capacity in terms of radiator power and or very low speed fans so definitely will help you out all right guys that's it i hope uh, you find this confirmation interesting and um, help you plan your build uh, in more efficient way the next thing is up i already have numbers but i would like to shoot this video separate i make a, a fan round up I have a few fans in my possessions that I wanted to check and see which one uh, gives you the best performance and uh, all other characteristics like noise and whatever, like how much they cost and things like this. So the, the fans that we will talking next time will be Gentle Typhoon, AP60, 2100 RPM version, another 2000 RPM version for Noctua that was recommended to me by my many of my friends and many of you guys on the other side of the screen. So I bought three pieces and I test them. So you can see all, all three is right here actually on the table. Uh, another fan that I tested was uh, Coolens. I had this fan tested a few years ago and it's produced pretty good results. So I added it to the mix as well. Also it's a generic fan. Um, another strong contendent uh, is a Bardar, also very much uh, popular right now. And I wanted one shitty fan in my test and this Jellied Wing uh, I tested before and was not very impressive in my test a few years ago. So I added it to the mix and uh, I expected that will be my baseline, so to speak, the worst case scenario. All right, guys, so that's five fans that uh, we're going to talk next time and we'll figure out which one uh, cools the best and lowest noise and uh, doesn't break your bank. I see you later. Bye.